All right, let's get into some cooler stuff. Amp combo effects get your simple guitar up and going really fast. Even faster than sound itself. Although sound is kind of slow in comparison to light. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna take another look at one more thing before we dive into each one of the stomp boxes is saving presets. Now saving presets can save you a lot of time because if you're adjusting, uh, sometimes you know, setting up your guitar rig can take a really long time because you're messing with the amplifier settings and then you're messing with the uh, specific stomp box settings. And once you find that specific sound that you just like, you want to go ahead and save that. That way, just in case you want to work on something else, you can come back to it and every knob and every setting will be exactly the way you left it. So let's go ahead and take a listen at my settings for right now. Okay, so let's say I wanted to add in just a little bit more drive to it. And what was another thing I noticed? I also noticed within the amplifier, I want more presence. I want to beef that up a lot. Let's take a listen to that now. Okay, so once you find something that you like, I think I like that. All you have to do is go down to the bottom right here and hit save setting. And that pops up this little window, save instrument. Now you can name this whatever you want. And I'm going to save it as Joey's Rock Setup. And since I had that previously before, uh, this window comes up. Uh, file, yeah, blah, blah, blah. You want to replace it. Of course, I want to replace it to the current settings that it is now. So I'm going to hit replace and that saves it for me. So if I ever want to bring it back up or, you know what, let's go ahead and change it to something different. Uh, let's do ooh, crunchy blues. All right. Okay, so that's Crunchy Blues, and let's say, all right, you know what, I want to go back to my settings. All I have to do is scroll up to the top, and under my settings, these are where your saved instruments or saved guitar settings are placed. So all I have to do is click on Joey's Rock Setup, and boom, I'm back to rocking out again. All right, so make sure once you are um, adjusting all your knobs and stuff to save your instruments, it'll save you lots of time just in case, you know, GarageBand crashes or something like that. But anyway, have fun rocking out. So please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any requests, please send them to request at mahalo.com. Show me that you